Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be your daily reminder, motivational video, every educational video, everything that you need all wrapped up in one to help you during this time. Let's talk about feeling uncertain. Let's talk about feeling really scared and worried about the future because you are going through a really tough breakup or a really hard divorce. The first thing I'm gonna tell you is that even though I know all of this is stressful, it's scary, there's so many unknowns, you have actually been here before. And no, I'm not talking about being here before in this relationship with this person. I'm talking about different areas of your life where you have felt nervous, scared, or challenged, where you didn't know what was gonna happen next and you worked through it. What is making this situation seem so much bigger than all those other times of your life is because there's emotion involved. So that emotion and grieving that you're actually doing on the side, as well as trying to like rebuild and feel certain about your life and figure out what's next. So you're doing two things at once. Typically in the past, when you have felt uncertain or you felt challenged or you felt stressed, you didn't have that emotional weight on you at the same time. And that's why this seems so much bigger than anything you've probably gone through before. What is most likely causing you the amount of fear and stress that you feel right now is how many areas of your life need fixing. When you're facing such an uncomfortable feeling because so many of your areas of life need work, it's gonna cause you a lot of stress, obviously. Now I know all of this can feel really daunting and scary and it might seem like a very overwhelming task that's in front of you. All these different areas that you're trying to work on. You're trying to rebuild yourself, you're trying to heal, you're trying to accept, you're trying to forgive, you're trying to move on. You need to buy a new house, you need to move out of a house, you're moving somewhere different, now you're a single parent. The list goes on and on. But it's important that you do what I'm about to tell you to do. And watch this over and over again because you're gonna need the reminders and you're gonna need the motivation and you're gonna need these tips throughout your entire journey. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that you've been here before. You've been uncomfortable. You've been challenged and you have faced uncertainty. Maybe not to this magnitude, but you have still faced all of those things either individually or as a collective. The reason why I'm stressing that you've been here before is that you need the reminder that you're capable of handling what's in front of you. It's so easy to think that we can't handle something. It's so easy to kind of go to that place of why is this happening to me? What did I do wrong? I don't deserve this. And believe me when I tell you, I have said that so many times. And while saying it, the tears were pouring down my face as they have with you. But just knowing that you've been here before, that you've faced uncertainty, that you've faced a difficult situation should give you a little bit of encouragement, power. There should be a little tiny bit of something, or maybe not, maybe it's a big something, hopefully but there should be a little something that's coming inside of you to go, okay, I have been here before, I am capable of handling this. The fear that washes over so many people, and I know it's probably washed over you, it did me as well, is because it just feels so overwhelming how many things need to change. Before we get into any kind of processing of your emotions and dealing with how you feel and grief and all that stuff, you need to start working on your confidence, your ability to know that I've done this before. It's like a mindset shift has got to happen in you in order for you to really believe I actually am capable of getting through this and I will. The goal is to start feeling confident in your ability to handle what's in front of you. And that's really what needs to get worked on is that inner self. There's a huge part of healing that needs to get done absolutely and we'll get into that. But first you need to have or really focus and start cultivating that belief that you can handle what's in front of you because you can. The reason why you think you can't is just because your mind has told you that you can't or your mind has made you freeze or your mind has tried to convince you of worst case scenarios and you didn't know what was happening so you fed those thoughts unconsciously and now you don't have that strong belief or confidence in yourself that you can face what you're about to go into. We all have irrational fears. You're no different than anyone else. You're no different than me. I was the same. Just irrational fears fears that would come up unconsciously to try to keep me stuck. Your mind is never trying to hurt you. It just doesn't know the thing to do to actually help you. And your job and your free will is that you have to guide that mind on what it is that you actually need so it can start producing more of what you need to feel your best. When you come out of these relationships, there's so many aspects of rebuilding that has to go on. Aside from just your physical life and finding a new place and getting used to being a single parent and having to do all of these other things that you have to do, now you're a 
alone and you were so used to having this partner, there's an aspect of rebuilding within your own self that absolutely needs to happen. You're not leaving this relationship feeling your most confident. You're not leaving this relationship thinking that you have the highest level of self-esteem. If anything, those areas of yourself are the things that you need to start focusing on. You don't come out of these relationships and feel your best. You don't feel confident. You don't have a high level of self-esteem and self-worth. You don't have really high standards. You're probably not good at boundaries. You're probably a little codependent. And aside from everything that's going on inside of you that needs work, you're also trying to examine a relationships either in your current life or past relationships like your ex. And who is this person? Trying to understand them and accept who they are. There's, so there's so much that's involved when you are going through this process. So feeling uncertain and feeling nervous is perfectly normal for the amount of stuff that you're trying to process at this time and the amount of work that you're trying to do on yourself. The biggest aspect of relearning is how to actually parent yourself. How do you soothe yourself? How do you validate yourself? Do you acknowledge your thoughts and feelings? Do you give yourself what it is that you need on a daily basis? Do you know how to feed yourself emotionally and mentally? That is just mental health and that's something that we're not taught how to do. No one teaches you how to do it in school. Our parents don't teach it to us because they're not doing it from, for themselves so they were never going to be able to teach you. Then you go into a really toxic relationship and you come out worse than you even probably went into the relationship. So now you're here and now you're learning exactly what it is that you need to be doing in order to be your healthiest, not to like necessarily even goal set or really, you know, achieve great things for yourself. We're just talking about basic, basic stuff, being able to overcome uncertainty, to feel confident in your ability to get through this process and really learn how to take care of yourself on a level which you have never done before. So right now your mind is cluttered. It has old thoughts, it probably has their thoughts, their programming, their abuse, parents abuse, society's, you know, way the way society programs us. There's so much clutter that's in the mind right now. And this stage of your life, even though it's tragic and it's terrible and it sucks and it's painful and you're crying and you're like, why is me? And you feel like a victim at times. There is a huge blessing that is over you right now. And that is you have the ability to be with yourself for a hot minute, not forever, just a little while. So don't get uncomfortable just to be with yourself, to actually work on yourself. And we hear this term so often, we hear working on ourselves all the time, but tell me one person that can actually explain what is it that I should be doing. That's why you're here and that's what you're learning. Now I'm gonna tell you the things that I did that really helped because let's be honest, you're coming out of this relationship, you're going through this experience, there is so much that's involved. You're not gonna feel like Superman or Superwoman every single day to be able to work on yourself perfectly. So the days where you don't feel like you're, you're going to make it, you don't feel like you're going to get out of it. You don't feel like you're going to ever smile again. You feel like this is the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to you. You have got to feed your mind. Every single day I went on YouTube, I put on my playlist of a variety of people, educational, motivational, affirmations. I constantly, constantly, constantly fed my mind because I knew my mind was not yet strong enough. Yes, I was cleaning out the clutter, but man, I can't clean all that stuff out in one day and I definitely can't clean it all out and replace it with the good stuff. So I needed these little quick fixes in order to kind of get my mind to a place where it needed to be. Now here's the kick, is when you're going about your day, can you spot that you're walking around the mind and it's cluttered and it's throwing all this trash at you? Are you even self-aware of that? Because if you are, then you're gonna start cleaning out some of that mess yourself, or if you can't and you just don't feel strong enough that day, you're gonna put on a headset and you're going to listen to something that's going to help you to start clearing away that stuff even faster. The problem is most people don't have that level of self-awareness. Most people want to get really stuck in feeling so incredibly scared and fearful and worried about the future that they don't slow down. One of the first things that I do with all my clients, because everyone wants to go from zero to 60, is you got to slow down. Not every day that I woke up going through my separation, going through my divorce, and even after I was a divorce, still trying to figure out how to co-parent, not every day did I wake up and think, okay, yeah, I'm so glad this is happening. Ooh, I'm so glad that, this, oh, this is just a blessing in my life. No, I'm dealing with my ex-husband leaving me a month after I had my son for another woman. Now I'm having to co-parent with both of them, basically, and now I'm a single mom did not see that coming in any way, shape or form. My life changed like that. So believe me when I tell you, none of this stuff is easy and it's almost impossible for you to think that you're going to be able to do this solely 
by yourself in your own mind. You have got to feed your mind. The hard part with life is that we all want something and we want it right now. We want to see the results and we don't want to wait. Obviously, I'm not about to tell you something that you don't already know. So by all means, feel the frustration, cry every tear, get all the anger out that you are in a sense, having to start over, whether you made that decision or someone made it for you, you have to let that out. So cry out the frustration, go ahead, pause this and shed those tears because I've been there before. Why me? Why did this happen? I can't believe this happened. What did I do wrong to deserve this? I can't believe this is my life. Because the minute you cry it out, get the anger, get all that energy out of you, and you take that breath, after that breath is where change actually starts to form. So either you can go back to that place and relive and rehash and do all those things, or you can go in a different direction, and that's what we're trying to do here. What you're learning in this process is patience and tolerance. You're learning how to be patient with yourself, with life, with this process, because it might seem really frustrating and it might seem like it's taking a really long time or you might be like me and thought you were just about to start your life and then all of a sudden it got completely taken away from you. You're learning tolerance on how to rebuild yourself again. And I don't even mean get back to that old version. You'll always take the good stuff with you. The good stuff will never go away. But when I say rebuild yourself and make it better, I'm talking about all the garbage, all the clutter that was in you even before that relationship. That's the stuff we're trying to get rid of now. Right now you're in rebuilding mode and that is the first place that you absolutely need to be in order to feel certain about your future and to get through this process. How well do you parent yourself? How well do you validate yourself? How well do you soothe yourself? How well do you listen to yourself, acknowledge yourself? How well do you actually take care of yourself on the inside? Let's start with that first. Because that right there has caused 99% of your problems. How well can you take care of yourself emotionally and how fast can you mentally get out of a, a mindset or a toxic mindset? We all say we don't wanna be living in negativity, but we don't understand that negativity, just like positivity, can be very addictive. You are addicted to pain on some level if you're not able to mentally get out of a space quicker. This is what rebuilding is all about. It's understanding how to take care of yourself emotionally and mentally, and it's learning how to parent yourself. We are going to be starting my Heal and Rebuild Masterclass, and I am so excited for this. I have done so many courses over the years, whether it's nine weeks to emotional healing, or I've done my high value boot camp, and one course was about healing from your past, and the other is really about like working on your future and rebuilding, and I thought, you know what? We need to put these two together. We need these two to be in a relationship and you need to have this information because I don't care what it is that you're going through, whether it is a divorce, whether it is a breakup, you've been in a relationship with someone who's narcissistic, it does not matter. We all need to heal from something and we all need to work on ourselves and we all need to learn how to actually rebuild, how to goal set, how to achieve things. And there's different layers to each of these things. So I'm gonna put a link down below and I'll actually put one up here. You can pre-register for the course. It's starting November 1st and we're probably going to be doing a little discount for you guys, so definitely pre-register so you can be informed when it actually goes live. Now, once you start to get to a really good place, this is where we're going to start working on our future. Now, uncertainty comes when we just don't even know what to do. Mapping out your life and looking at all areas of your life can be exciting or it can be something that's scary. Obviously, you get to decide what, how you want to view this time of your life but we all go through a phase of just feeling like we're in limbo where we don't even we feel stuck we feel uncertain we don't know what's going to happen next we don't even know what we want and the reason why you're in this place is because you have not worked on you when you start working on you the answers start coming up a little easier than you trying to like fight your way through what that map is going to look like for your future life because it just makes it so much harder on yourself when you haven't worked on yourself if you haven't done any of this work you don't want to, you think it's stupid, you think it's ridiculous, you don't see the point, then it's gonna be a real struggle for you. Either you're gonna repeat the same mistakes all over again, which we don't wanna do, or you're gonna end up just making decisions out of fear because you haven't done any of the work, or you're gonna stay stuck in limbo and uncertainty for way too long because you feel uncertain about yourself. You're not really sure of your capabilities. You really don't know what you want from your life. And the only reason why you don't know what you want from your life is because of fear and insecurity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I'm going to link the Heal and Rebuild Masterclass down below. Don't forget to pre-register. I'll keep you informed throughout the rest of the month and just keep you up to date with the latest details and things that are gonna be happening in the Masterclass, but it's going to cover everything, healing, rebuilding, 
goal setting, working on your inner self, self-parenting, everything that I talk about is gonna be kind of wrapped into a pretty little package for you. So I hope you guys are doing well. Remember, watch this again and again when you need that motivation, you need that reminder because you are capable of handling this and you will. Just stick with me.